What's going on, beautiful people? Welcome to my channel. This is Victoria Elise. If this is your first time at my channel, welcome, welcome. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. Today, we are making the monster tacos from Jack in the Box, baby. And we're doing it our way. So let's jump right into it. First things first, we are going to get our hamburger into our pan. Here comes some diced chicken thighs. I know y'all, just trust the process. I promise it's going to come together. We just going to make sure that's getting all moved around so it can get browned and cooked completely through. We got some garlic. We got some onion powder some creole seasoning and last but not least some cumin just seasoning that all on the top to get those flavors taste it after it's fully cooked y'all make sure it's where you want it to be if not add some more flavor in there get it to your liking here goes a medium half of an onion diced up putting that in there more flavor more flavor and we're just moving it around. Not constantly, of course, but y'all see me stirring like a mad person, but just making sure we're cooking it all the way through. Now it's going into our blender. Yes, our blender was some pinto beans. I did about five um, spoonfuls of those with some bean juice, and we're gonna let that baby twirl like it ain't never twirled before. We want it to look like the inside of the Jack in the Box tacos. If you ever had one, you know what I'm talking about. Just like this. Doesn't look as appetizing right here, but I promise y'all it's good. So now we're going to put it together. I'm putting some cheese down on the tortilla with a couple of spoonfuls of our meat mixture. If you want your tortilla to not crack... You're going to need to put it in the microwave for a few seconds and get it a little bit soft. Here we go into the frying pan. Letting this cook until it is a beautiful golden brown. So you'll see me flip it here and there. Let it sit for a while. And you're just really making... Just getting the tortilla to your liking because everything else is already cooked in there. Um, so we're just getting our tortilla to be a beautiful brown. And here we go putting it together, y'all. As you can see, it is piping hot, fresh out that oil, some more cheese. Because I don't know about y'all, but for me, I can't have enough. You want to get that American cheese on there. You're going to get you some hot taco sauce. If y'all know, y'all know where this taco sauce is from, and they are not getting no free um, advertisement, so I had to cover up the little logo. <laughs> In goes the lettuce, and look it, look it, look it. Crispy, delicious, monster tacos made at home. It's not too much to do, and so full of flavor. Thank y'all so much for watching, and until next time, bye.